the place where i'm sitting right now is actually surrounded with so many different structural domes you can see most of them uh, have broken but still there are a few which are quite protected and just at the center is a small lake like thing uh, people are taking bath of course uh, let me tell you what i have learned is just under the uh, temple of lingaraj there is a river we call uh, bindu sagar which flows down and most probably this lake has some connection with that river guys what i thought is to tell you the story the history of puri jagannath temple as you already know that uh, i could not tell you this before because there was so much of chaos and so many people shouting screaming and the temple area was very chaotic so i have finally got a nice suitable place where i can sit and tell you the story nice here comes two different stories these are two different versions you may have heard of some different version as well since these are mythological stories they have different versions i'll tell you the two versions which i know among them one of them uh, is there was the king indra dumna in puri and after the death of lord krishna indra dumna was quite greedy to get krishna's heart but uh, somehow he did not get it and the heart drowned under the ocean and it stayed under the ocean which was uh, finally got by the tribal people uh, and the tribal people brought them uh, brought it back to their home and kept it safe indra dumna got to know about this and after knowing about this he was again being very greedy he ran after that uh, heart and he wanted it as soon as he uh, explored and found which house was having the heart of krishna immediately the heart vanished this was a lesson for indra dumna because he then understood that no i am not doing the right thing somehow i am taught a lesson that uh, i should not be greedy and i should not run after such things which are not for me i should wait patiently so he learned this lesson and after that what he did is he decided to build uh three different deities of jagannath balaram and subhadra and place them in a beautiful temple this was his idea and he wanted to do it out of wood this is one of the stories the other story says after the date of uh, krishna balaram and subhadra they were the siblings right they were very sad and they could not uh, mourn enough what they did is they took the half burnt body of krishna and together they drowned themselves under the sea and after this after many days of this incident king indra dumna again king, king indra dumna because uh, this temple was constructed by king uh, indra dumna that this is uh, originally constructed by this person so king indra dumna find found a plank of wood wooden log rather near the sea beach he brought it back and he decided to make three deities of uh, jagannath balaram and subhadra and place them in the jagannath temple and build a temple of course so these two var var variations are actually having the same king king indra dumna and they are actually coming and meeting at the same part where we can see that king indra dumna actually thought to build the deities of jagannath balaram and subhadra and he wanted to build the jagannath temple so now comes the construction story so he was uh, searching for people who can construct well and who will be a very good craftsman and uh, that was a blessing he got whom he got vishwakarma the magic craftsman as we know him he was there but he did not uh, unveil himself 
here in front of Indra Dumna. He came uh, in front of Indra Dumna as a very old person, and uh, he had one condition. What was the condition? He said that when I'll do my work, there will be no dis disturbance. No one will come inside my room. No one will open the door. Let me do my work on my own. If there is any disturbance, I'll leave the place. So fine. After this, uh, the king allowed him to continue with his work, and the door was closed. The room was only having the log of wood. The magic craftsman himself. In this way, six to seven days passed. In, and many a days more passed and the king was now very thoughtful he was thinking oh my god he is taking so much time but he is not coming out to eat or drink or to take rest the king was of course ready to provide food and to provide some rest to this craftsman but no he was not coming out so now the king became very anxious to know what's going on inside the room so he entered the room, opened the door and entered the room and Vishwakarma immediately dissolved. He disappeared. He was not there anymore. He told that no disturbance will be allowed. And the deities remained half done. The king did not want to lose this chance of placing the deities on their positions and to build the temple because this magic work was already done. He didn't want to waste it. So he built the temple, the Jagannath temple, and he placed the deities one after the other in the proper consequence. You can see Jagannath, Balaram, Shubhadra, they are sitting. Uh, Jagannath is at the extreme left. Then in the center is Subhadra and Balaram sits at the extreme right. So yes, now what i want to tell you if you want to visit the mandir you can easily go and watch the deities it's quite organized and there is no such terrible rush which i can actually say you because i have already went there i offered my puja but i couldn't show you the interior just the same what is happening in lingaraj temple actually we are not allowed to bring the cameras inside because some things should be left for your own eyes to see and watch and to praise guys let me walk through this place enjoy more you come with me be with me be my travel partner